Hi, this is Kat at Inking Paper with Kat.com. Today's project is this little stocking that holds a candy cane. This would be a really cute gift for your kids' classmates or table favors or something. And it just opens up, says enjoy, and there's a candy cane adhered with glue dots. So let's look at the supplies we need and make this project. You're going to need a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half, a piece of DSP that's three and a half by four and a half, or three and a half by four. You need a piece of Whisper White for die cutting the little snowflake. I have a piece of Whisper White always ready that is backed with adhesive. And these are double-sided adhesive sheets. You can get them from Stampin' Up. And I just keep one ready to use when I'm doing this kind of a project. Tags and trimmings stamp set. And the Trim Your Stocking Thinlets. We're going to be using the stocking, the snowflake, and then the pieces needed to decorate the stocking. So let's get started since most of this is die cutting. The first thing we are going to do is take our Simply Scoreboard and just score this piece of cardstock in half for a quarter. And it's probably larger than what you actually need, but I like to make sure I have some wiggle room when I'm die cutting. I would suggest burnishing this just so it'll go through your die cutter a little bit easier. And let's get the big shot out. You need your magnetic platform, a cutting pad, your paper, and to make this folded we need to make sure that we are cutting off the fold. And I also want a straight top, so I'm lining it up on the top so that it is outside of this little piece that was meant to work with the um, pillow box, but we're not using the pillow box, so we don't need that. We will put our top plate on and run it through. Now because we're going through two pieces of paper, I'm going to run it through twice. And before I take it off, I'm just going to flip it over and look to make sure that it cut. It looks like it cut. And it sure did. And as you can see, now it folds open and we have a little card. Alright, let's cut our other pieces. So again, your magnetic cutting plate, your cutting pad. We want our DSP and we're going to put our stocking top again at the top so we get a straight edge. toe of our stocking and the foot of our stocking. And then we have our snowflake that we're going to cut out of our paper that has an adhesive back. And I try to squeeze these in because I don't want to waste my adhesive back paper. cutting plate on top and roll that through. Now I rolled it through twice because of the adhesive back paper, not because of the DSP. Let's put our big shot to the side. And 
can see that our snowflake cut just fine. And there are our other pieces. So now we can put our stocking together. So the first thing we want to do before we start adhering stuff is we want to put that sentiment on the inside. That way everything is still nice and flat and it's not going to get messed up. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm just putting it up towards the top. Now this is a big sentiment or large font, so there we go. All right, we've done that. Now let's flip it over so that we can adhere our parts. I am going to use Fast Fuse. And then we have the heel. And the toe. And you can see this is actually a, a really quick project. So if you do need to make treats for a classroom, and it has to be, of course, packaged, Wrapped candy canes are great for that. And you could do these really quickly. Okay, now we need to take our backing off of our snowflake. Oops, our snowflake stuck in our Die. Okay, and just put it on. And all I did to put the candy canes in was I took some glue dots. That. I have a band-aid on my finger and I'm finding today that everything wants to stick to that and not the paper. And I did use two just to keep it a little bit more stable. Take your candy cane, kind of figure out where you want it. There it goes. And I'm using the Quilted Christmas Ribbon. It has a nice kind of stripe in it. Just tie it around right under that top piece, the cuff. And you could do a square knot here or a bow, whichever one you prefer. Um, I could certainly understand where square knots, if you were making 25 of these, would certainly be a lot easier and faster. And just trim your ribbon. And there is your candy cane stocking. I hope you enjoyed the project and that you come back and visit soon. Thanks for joining me.